from C and welcome to my 350Z and a bear. There was a bear next to me. Let me just, just kind of, there we go. You in shot? You good? Good. Now today, I'm going to give you a little bit of an insight as to how to create your own car show. You see me go to a lot of car shows and I kind of got together a list of things that you need to do to tick off the list to create a good car show, in my opinion. Now I'm going to use today's car show as a case study, which is the Wilson Bridge car show. And I'm going to refer back to carhuddle.com, which is the free online car show directory and the perfect place to create your event. So car shows are normally held on a weekend. Now it seems that Sunday seems to be a popular day. I don't like Sundays because then you've got work the next day on a Monday. I prefer Saturday car shows, but Sunday is the most popular day for a car show. Maybe post it on a Saturday so you don't get as many clashes. I mean, if you want to know what clashes there are, you can go onto Car Huddle, you can search by date to see which car shows are on which dates, and then you can see if yours clashes with them. That's always a good start so you don't organise your show on the same day as, say, the Goodwood Festival of Speed, which is the UK's biggest show. This counts for the whole of the world, by the way. This is not just UK, certainly not just the south of England. Car Huddle is a worldwide database, so wherever you are, you can create your event. Choose where you want to be, and it will have a map feature, so people can find your event on a map, so they can see how far away they are from it. Now, as well as date, there's the time of year, and as you can tell by the drizzliness of the outside and the greyness of the colours, it's winter now. It's the 2nd of December. It's proper winter. So there's not a lot of car shows on, but I found today's event on Car Huddle, and there were actually about five events today. So I was surprised to find that there were a few smaller events dotted around, and this was the closest one to me. I searched via map, and I found the closest one, and I chose that one. And as I say, I've never been to this show before, so I don't know what it's gonna be like. Now, I am a little bit tired, because I woke up a little bit early. Car shows tend to be rather early. Today's car show starts at eight o'clock, which I think's eh, a little bit too early, but this is a breakfast club event. Now, breakfast clubs can start from about 7.30, and they'll literally get there, have some pork pies or whatever breakfast, tea, and then leave at maybe midday. But there are other shows that are the full day events, so you could go for that, but you need kind of a more entertaining backdrop for that, a bit more things to do. Whereas in a car park, you either want to go morning event or evening event. But today's event is a morning event, it starts at 8, I think it's a bit early. I'm getting there for 9, which is a bit late. Aha! I just saw an old Samba bus, Volkswagen camper ahead. He's going the right way, I presume. This is the start of the car show. Ooh, speed bumps. I wouldn't suggest holding a car show in a place populated by speed bumps. Ooh, looks rather crowded. Now this meet seems to be for all types of cars, whether they be classics or modified, but you can choose what type of car show you want yours to be on Car Huddle. You can choose classic show, supercar show, modified, etc. Right, let's have a look around. So here I am, parked up with the bear next to one of the two Samba bus things, split screen camper vans. These two have gone for the rusty look, probably because they're rusty. So it's definitely mainly classics here, as you can see. Some of these cars are unbelievable. So I've pretty much got here at the perfect time because I got the last space, so it's a good job I didn't have to get fuel on my way. Uh, talking of fuel, on Car Huddle, you can find the nearest Shell V-Bow station to the car show. That is an option as well. And it's a shame the weather's a little bit grey, but at least it's not raining. And you can see the weather forecast on Car Huddle before you come, so you can plan your day a little bit better than I have. So right here, we've got a stack, and it seems the Ford lots are fans of this show. You can share events through forums, Ford forums, classic car forums. You can share the event anywhere you like so you can get all the attention that it needs for the right kind of people. You can target who you want to come to the show, as well as a fantastic assortment of, oh my god, hot rods. I mean, who doesn't love a hot rod? Ridiculous wheels acting as bumpers because they are right at the front of the car. You can see the engine, the visible engine, that small block V8 in there shooting flames sometimes, maybe? 
wheels with no arches or no fenders and a locked case in the back. What could be in the case? Severed head maybe, a couple of baby penguins or some apples and lemons because the padlock's been bought from Tesco. Oh my, this has had quite the modernization. Look at these LED headlights on this. And this two-tone RS has had a bit of things done to it too. Tie writing, oh yes. I do love an old Mark 1 Escort, especially this one with the white arches and the fog lights. And we got a Studebaker and a Thund Ubud. It's missing an E. Right, and up the front we've got this Mini Marcos next to a track-focused Porsche 924. Completely strips out and a little bit of camber. And there's anything from a C63 AMG to an old Daimler tank. Ah, oh, with guns attached and everything. Kessel for your brew, all the luggage, and there you go. There's the exhaust. So we've also got an old Ford Hot Rod. A Beetle with a, um, would you call that a side pipe? <laughs> It's just a silencer that goes out to the side. What lovely scenery. Now this show was free to get in and free to park. You can declare the cost of a show when you're organising it on Car Huddle. But this one was a nice free day for me. So we've got a Lotus of Aura here. A Mustang showing out his uh, Cobra Jet engine. Oh, the MG Midget leaving. We've got a Peugeot 304 next to a Volkswagen 1600. And it seems cars are starting to leave. Just uh, doing a spot of bird watching. Right, so I'll take a look at this Corsa. It's got a Ferrari jacket in the back. Certainly not a Ferrari. However, it's a dyno reading on the bonnet. It's got a Saab engine. 208 horsepower. Ah, and a Ford Crown Victoria police car. Oh my god, it's the brand new Aston Martin Vantage. I haven't actually seen one of these on the road yet. Randomly pulling in. But cars are starting to leave, so I'm going to catch a few leaving down this slow speed bump road. I think I'm going to go on to another meet now because carhuddle.com is not only a place you can create an event, you can also look at other events. So I've just gone on my phone and found another meet that starts at 12, which is about an hour away. Oh, RX7, a bit random. Um, so I'm going to go on to that. That will be a separate video. So I'm going to end this video now. So hopefully you can find this video helpful as to how to create a show and how to find out one. 
Bear is enjoying his day. He's had a good time. So you can find out all these shows that I go to without having to go around the whole of the internet to find something local. So I hope you found this video helpful, but for now, thanks for watching.